Justin Butler. I'm director of the Associates of Fine Arts Music Degree Program here at Caldwell Community College. Thanks for coming out today. Um, this is, I believe, our third concert this semester in our Forming Artists series. Um, today we have very eclectic styles uh, coming from Warren Wilson College. Uh, they have brought their klezmer ensemble along with their old time and bluegrass groups. Uh, so we're going to have some really exciting roots music for you today. Um, if you are interested, we're going to start uh, registration for our spring semester. And we have a variety of music courses that all of our community can participate in. You don't have to be a music student. In fact, we love everybody to participate in our chorus and our class piano and our other courses as well. So if you have any questions about those classes, uh, feel free to come talk to me or um, uh, Luke Bitten, who is also one of our full-time music instructors here. Uh, so without any further delay, um, we'll start a concert. Oh, sorry. One more delay. Um, I want to make sure that everybody silences any electronic devices you have so that uh, we don't disturb the musicians or other concert goers. And if you do need to go to the restroom or leave for any reason, please make sure that you uh, leave in between songs. And when you come back in, wait for applause so that you come in in between songs as well. Thank you so much. Hey, everyone. Thanks for coming. We're, we're, uh, I'm Ben Krakow. I teach in the music department at Warren Wilson College. And we've got two bands here to perform for you all. I wasn't listening to the speech that uh, you all just had, so I hope I'm not repeating information. But uh, this first band is the Klesmer Music Ensemble. And they're actually down a few people. They, their instructor got sick, and there's a couple people who had some classes they couldn't miss. And But this is actually their very first performance. So I hope you like, will really uh, give them some good applause and stuff. Um, so Klezmer music is, is instrumental celebratory music of Jewish people in Eastern Europe. And uh, some of you, they're going to play, I bet, you will, I bet some of you will recognize one of the songs they're going to play, which is pretty well known. But um, they're going to tell you a little bit about the individual pieces as they go on and their different instruments and how it fits into the ensemble. But uh, this is our first semester having an ensemble with this kind of music, which is really exciting. There aren't that many college ensembles of this kind of music. And Natalia Weinstein normally teaches it. And uh, her grandfather was a professional customer musician and then kind of skipped a generation with her dad. But then she has her old uh, the notebooks from her grandfather, so she learned some of the songs that way. And she plays in a band called Zoe and Cloyd with her husband, John, whose grandfather played fiddle with Latin Scruggs. So they kind of they draw from their grandfather's different musical traditions some pretty cool ways. But anyway, um, give a big hand to the, do y'all have a band name other than the Cosmer band? Yeah. All right, give a big big hand to the Warren Wilson uh, Cosmer band. Yeah. Hey y'all, uh, my name is Elliot. I'm the clarinet player for the Cosmer band. And this first song is called um, Arabic Toms, which means Arabic dance. And it's going to feature our bass player, Ethan C. Uh, doing a little solo and also uh, uh, Will Griffith doing his iPhone solo and me and Nat are going to do a little solo halfway through the piece so this is Eric Towns. <laughs>
this next song uh, is actually going to do two songs continuously, and the first one's called Vine Ribbon in Palestina, and this is an old uh, Jewish folk song that was played a lot uh, during the 1990s uh, Klezmer revival, and it's in a 3-8 uh, time signature, so it kind of has a, uh, a waltzy feel, and it, it goes right into Nacht in Gan Eden, which means a night in the Garden of Eden. Um, both of these songs are in heavily minor keys, so yeah.
sound that I can make, just the bass, which sounds like this, and it resonates from the bottom. And the ta, kind of this higher sound, and the ka, which is up here, that kind of has like this airier sound to it, and kind of allows for like more melodic sound with the drum. And yeah, yeah, this is the new back. Sweet. So this song is going to be, this one's called Otazoi, which means that's the way. And this features a sort of singing part, or a, more of a chant. Yeah, yeah Ot Otsoi means uh, that's the way, and it's a singing part that we'll sing, and uh, we'll follow along with us if you'd like. But um, Otsoi means that's the way, and Gitazoi means um, that's the best way. So you sing it, that's what it means. Okay.
maybe. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Um, this is this is Evan New City. Um, I'm Jockey. You can see I'm a Caribbean. Steven. Steven. And uh, this is Elliot Baker on clarinet, and we have uh, Will Griffin. about to get ready to play. Um, so we're going to ask some of these folks who just finished to, to grab the chair up front, do a little Q&A with the audience while we get the Bluegrass Band uh, ready to play. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll get started with some more music in a few minutes here. So any questions you all have about like how they learned this music, or if you're curious about, yes, yeah, so you can ask them.
the, the people that are playing them, the professional klezmer bands that play them, are not like following the sheet music exactly. Um, and so I think it's that's sort of like one of the inherent things about this music is that there's a lot up for interpretation, and the music, the sheet music, gives you sort of a framework for like the melody and what you're supposed to follow, but it's in the very nature of like the style of music to like be, yeah, to be up for interpretation. We're ready, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
Nicky Carter, but made famous by, and I guess first recorded by the Lilly Brothers. Um, that's who I learned it from. Student, but um, 
but was a great fit for the band and has been has been you know lending her talents to the Warren Wilson band. So really fun having Jamie in the band. And then on bass from Chicago, Evanston. From Chicago is Ethan Siebin, who you already met. On bass. Last one. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
This is one uh, written by Hazel Dickens, amazing songwriter, musician. Um, if any of you want to know more about the music program at Warren Wilson, feel free to reach out. Again, my name is Ben Krakauer, but really, if you look us up and reach out to anyone who teaches in the music department or any of these students, we'd be happy to talk with you um, to learn more about it. And just thanks so much for having us here. It's been really fun to get to play for you all. Thanks for coming out.
Yes. Thanks. Thanks for coming. Yeah, <laughs>